welcome back to part two of looking at the free selection tool. What we're going to do now is embed these into the background. I'm going to do the daisy first. So with the move to, I'm going to move the pansy out of the way and then concentrate on the daisy. And I'm going to reduce the size of it. So we go to the scale tool, double click on there and click on the daisy. And holding the control key down and clicking in the corner, I'm going to click and pull down until it looks as if it's, it will fit in naturally. Make a little bit more. And yes. And when you're happy with that, you go to scale and um, click on scale. And the big one goes and the little one stays behind. If you want to make it bigger, of course, all you have to do is click and drag up. But I don't want to do that at the moment. Um, so the move tool and I'm going to pop this one down here. What I'm going to do next is copy this. And the quickest way I have found is make sure your layer is highlighted and go down to the icon here, which is create a duplicate of the layer and add it to the image and click on that. And you will see a daisy copy. And I think I'll leave it as Daisy Copy. You can't see it because it's right over the top of Daisy. So we'll need to move that. And I'm going to pop that there. Let's rotate it so that it doesn't look exactly the, the same as that. So we go to double click on the rotate and you can as click on the image you want to rotate. And you can either do it from here like that or do it on there and I'm trying to sort of the light is coming in here and that's darker so when you're happy with that just click on rotate and it will do it for you so we've got two in there now the next one I'm going to do is double click on the move to remember to do that each time you want to move and click on here and I'm going to move that up. Again, this is, there's a set of several things I'm going to do with this. Um, make sure that layer is highlighted, otherwise you'll be work, thinking you're working on the layer and you're not, you're working on something else. There's two things about this, well three really. Um, it's too dark against there, so we're going to add a bit of light to it. It's too big. So I'm going to reduce it and again I think I'll give it a bit of rotation to fit in. So first of all let's lighten it up a bit. So we go to colours and down to levels and what this shows you is quite a bit, a bit of black missing and quite a bit of white missing. So if we move the arrow in this way you can see gradually getting lighter. The beauty of layers is that it's only affecting the pansy and it's not affecting anything else underneath. And I'm going to bring in a just a little bit of to give it a bit more contrast there. If I did this, well, you can change the colour, it'd be rather nice, but for our purposes, no. Uh, a little bit lighter. Yes, I think I'm happy with that. So we press OK. You might be thinking, this border here is a bit of a nuisance. I want to get rid of it. Well, the way to do that is to go up to View and you'll see all sorts of boxes with tick bars. This is the one uh, that we want to get rid of. So just untick there and it's gone. But we're still working on uh, the pansy and we're going to make it smaller. So we click on the scale tool, click on the pansy, and again, hold control down to keep the proportions 
and click and drag. And it's a little bit difficult to judge there. So as long as you hold in the middle and move, it's still a bit big, isn't it? Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, when you're happy with it, just click scale. So go back to the move tool and bring it back in the position you want to put it. And again, I want to turn that round so the light is coming, the lighter bit is, is coming here as there. And what we do is go to the rotate tool, double click, click on the pansy, and I quite like doing it that way. And I'm turning it to the left. I'm happy with that. Okay, let's move it. What I said was I would make this a little bit, embed them so that they look a little more realistic. I think I will do it with the pansy. You could do it with these as well, but those don't look too bad. But if I did it here, just to show you, the quickest way to do it then would be to move this layer and uh, there, and immediately that goes behind it. But of course, you can't do that, do that with these because they're all part of the background layer. We will put it back in here. And I'm going to overlap it like that. And what I'm going to do, uh, make sure this layer is highlighted. I'm going to go into 100%. And what I'm going to do is erase this bit here so the pink petunia is coming through. The easiest way to see where this line is, is to reduce the opacity on the pansy layer so that you can see this is where you need to go. And what we do is we double click on the eraser brush, eraser brush, eraser, and I like to use the softest possible. So it will be the fuzzy brush and I click on there and basically just go like that and if you want to increase your brush size just click on the right bracket key a bit and then you can see it getting bigger I shall do that I'm just doing this very quickly you will obviously spend a bit more time but I just want to show you how to do that and I think there was a bit here as well so we'll go and bring that in as well I don't know whether there's anything more and of course don't forget to bring your opacity up and let's go down to 25%. And it looks as if it's just tucked in nicely. Um, the petune is overlapping there. And yeah, I, I like that. Obviously, you would spend a bit more time than I have uh, playing around with um, the lightness and things on there. But all in all, not a bad job. When you're happy with your creation, obviously, you'll need to save it. And if you want, you can save as wherever you want to do it. Give it a name, but um, if you want to go back and work on it, obviously you will need to put the XCF image. Or if you want to use it for graphics, uh, logos or whatever, I would suggest you save it as a PNG. And that's down there somewhere. So you would just click on uh, PNG and it would change it up there. I'm not going to save that because I already have. So I'm going to cancel it. Well, I hope that's inspired you. And if you have any comments, any questions, we'd love to hear, hear from you. And come to our fan page. You'll see the details below. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye bye.